<laughs> Yo, how is life? How are things? You doing well? Are you doing alright? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Welcome to shopsplat.com. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, hello, my name is Brandon. I'm the founder and owner of Shopsplat. If you don't know what Shopsplat is, it's basically a online marketplace where people can buy and sell anything. Yeah. Look, don't, don't judge me. I woke up late and I'm tired and... I decided to pop out a video anyway. So I've been on TikTok uh, for a while. That's pretty much what I grew my brand on that and just Instagram mainly. And now we're trying to work it on YouTube. Uh, so make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. No, but seriously, if you could, that would actually be very pro gamer of you. So thank you. Anyway, I get a lot of hate on TikTok. When I mean a lot, I mean a lot. Like I know brands and like, like new brands are going to get hate from people. But like, <laughs> let me tell you. I get a lot of hate. I think it's probably because people just don't understand what ShopSplat is. Uh, like, it is a marketplace. So it functions similarly to like Macari or eBay or anything like that, where anyone can put things they have for sale on the marketplace. But people just don't understand that. So I think what typically happens is people go and look at ShopSplat and they think that I'm either drop tipping or I am like stealing these products and then reselling them or something. I don't really know. And then they're like, you're freaking dumb. So because of that, I get a lot of hate. And this morning I had posted a TikTok just going over some of the gifts that we have, some of the new ones that have been listed. And for whatever reason, I got a lot of hate on it. So I have decided to uh, go over some of these hate comments and respond to them and react and just see, see how it is. So without further ado, here we go. All right, now this first one, this one isn't actually that bad. It, it says, bro, I'm a fan, but you can't sell Among Us stuff. The owner said so. If they, and they can sue you, basically. And uh, to that, I'd say I, I definitely heard about that. Um, and I don't actually sell it, like I said, to Marketplace. So people people are listing it. So if, if anyone's getting sued, it's them. And if they want to sue me, then take a good look. This is what you're going to get. This is the only half decent thing I have to my name. All right, this next one uh, says that every time something gets popular, you guys put it on your website and make it cheaper to steal other people's business. Damn right we do. Um, so two things. One, again, I don't actually list anything on ShotSplat. I'm not the one actually selling it. I just made the platform for people to sell on. Uh, so if they do list it on there for cheaper, um, that's their choice because I'm not, I'm not actually listing it on there. But two, I mean, to me, that just sounds like, you know, a win-win situation. The person listed on there, you get it for a lower price and they get to make money. Like, I mean, I guess it's a lose situation for the people they're stealing company for, but that's the free market. So, yeah. Next, this person said, guys, don't order. It won't arrive by Christmas. And to that, I say, it's possible so shots flat we most people who sell in shots flat are in the usa and things will get out to you within a week but that being said it's not limited to just being in the united states you can sell from anywhere uh so we do have people from overseas who do sell and therefore it could take you know a month or so to get to you because it is overseas and you know corona so it it depends but most items will get to you by christmas especially because it's december first this person said hint you will never use these and are all a waste of money um i guess that's up to personal opinion i mean i guess maybe that's not a hate comment maybe he's just sharing his opinion um i mean considering that in the video i literally showed the burrito blanket hold up which is which is where where's the burrito blanket where is my flipping burrito blanket ah uh, yes anyway it's a blanket so i mean i guess if you don't use blankets then yeah. Uh, but then he said, ah, man, I don't think my kid has a blanket. Oh, there's this burrito blanket that doesn't look cozy or comfortable at all. First off, I'm highly confused. Why you said your kid doesn't have a blanket? I don't know. He was trying to do something. Anyway, you're not cozy or comfortable at all because this is fantastic. It's lovely. It's fleece and it's great. And it's probably our best selling item. And what the heck is that? <laughs> Ew! So anyway, 10 out of 10 recommend. The reviews on this bad boy are fantastic. And I mean, I guess if you're just uptight and don't want to be cool, then don't get one, you lame Uh, This person said, I'd rather buy it from the original website. And you know what? Props to you. You can do that. I'm sure, I mean, now here's the thing. It might be more expensive because typically people list things on ShopSpot when they've been like slightly used. And uh, I mean, if you're willing to get it for slightly used, then yeah. Uh, or, you know, they just get the deals and whatnot and they'll list it for uh, cheaper. So... 
Um, so it's up to you. Yeah, I'd be I'd be happy if you did that. However, I will say that we do have items on Shop Splat that you can't get anywhere else because they are made specifically like to order. And people sell it on Shop Splat. So that there's that. But yeah, sure, that's not really a hate comment now that I think about it. I like this guy. And his name is Mike Wazowski, so uh this person said all these stuff are shizzy. <laughs> Juice and music. <laughs> nah, I just get out. I really don't care. Um, I mean, I guess it takes one to know one, you know. Get piece of sh Moving on! Th this is a good one. This one really hit close to home. They said, bro, nobody wants your garbage, poor quality, gyro glider, and most of what you sell appeals to 12-year-olds or is just random knick-knack trinkets. Yeah. That's kind of the whole point. <laughs> First off, how dare you talk about my freaking gyro glider like that? I worked so hard on that. <laughs> you suck. Uh, but yeah, I mean, sure, the gyro glider sucks, but great. You're happy now. Anyway, um, but the part, what do you want? Uh, but the part uh, for appealing to 12 year olds and selling knickknacks, um, yes, that's originally what the w website was for, considering that I was on TikTok and most people on TikTok are 12 year olds. So. Hit the head, hit, hit the nail on the, the head on that one, buddy. Next. Man, this kid's probably a middle child. Uh, continuing on, the same guy, uh, after, after I, uh, he said that, I said, thanks, buddy. Because, you know, I'm a nice guy. And then he said, no problem, man. Uh, maybe if you sold things that people needed and not random stocking stuffers, you get somewhere. Can't build an empire off junk. Roasted. He was really serving that big dick energy on that one. I mean, you know my man is packing. Nah, but on a serious note, I just find it funny that he said, uh, you know, you can't build an empire off that while eBay sits around doing exactly that. That 19 sits around doing exactly that. Mercari sits around doing exactly that. Uh, Amazon practically sits around doing the same thing. But next, this is an all time favorite and we always get comments like this, uh, but you're just drop shipping items for double the price. For those of you that don't know, drop shipping would mean like I buy from like wish.com for like $3 and then ship it directly from wish to you for like, you know, $8. And then I make the $5 in between. Um, as I said before, I don't actually sell anything on the store except for the gyro glider, but I hand make those. Um, and yeah, so also drop shipping is against our terms of service. So yeah so um no no and again anyone who thinks that i would encourage you to make your own seller's account and then list something of your own because you can do that next <laughs> wait wait never mind we actually stand this guy because then he went on to say wait wait what did he say he said oh this like sorry because it changed <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it never was that but I accept your apology. This person said, damn bro, you really fallen off? Shop Splat might come to an end. No hate, just saying. <laughs> He's right. He's right. What am I going to do with my life? Shop Splat's going to come to an end. I'm going to be up the streets. It's just going to be me and Splatty with the fatty. Look at that. This is a thick boy. Uh, no, but I agree. Uh, things have been quite slow for Shop Splat, and I just need to switch things up and figure out what I'm going to do to fix it. But, um... Yeah. Uh, this next one, someone said, uh, nothing, because everything's trash. <laughs> ah. This is a good one. Uh, your store sucks. <laughs> so does your mom. I would know. And going back to our favorite boy, Hungry Snail 7, the man doesn't want to stop. He, we got into a little conversation, and he ended us on this fantastic note. <clears throat> There's name brand and off brand. What you're making is like the off-brand of an off-brand laughing emoji. You can build the empire. You can't. What? So can or can I not? Pick one, you anorexic freaking snail. Forget you. Anyway, I had a great time doing this. This was fantastic. Uh, so yeah, keep leaving the hate comments. I'll probably make another video. It's a good time. Uh, but yeah, hit the thumbs up uh, if you want to check and... Uh, check out any things on shops flat or uh, support the boy i will leave a link down it uh below we get new items on there pretty much every day so go find the deals uh if you want to sell your own things make a little bit of money same thing go check it out down below and i will see you guys in the next video peace